and it was really sticky. So during the match against Germany yesterday, he changed the shaft on his brake cue. Well, this will work. This is a nice opening shot for Niels. This is just what you want. The sixth ball is probably stopping Niels play up that side of the table, so he might come up over to the left and shoot the red three into the top right. What a compliment, the Dutch superstar Niels Fine paid to Mark Beisterbosch there without any great fanfare. The fact Bosch to Bosch broke off just tells you how well respected his break is. In that regard, one of the best in the business, call. This shot will tell us if the pink four passes the seven. Doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't. So he's got to play a good positional shot here. Needs to slow down. Needs to slow down. Just a hair too hard. So I think we're going to be seeing a safety shot now. Cue ball there from Niels. Jumping over and hitting this ball, well, you would always think these players would achieve that. But he's just looked at the point angle, so he's trying to pot this into the top right. There could be a possible scratch in the same pocket off the edge of the six. And this is just a... Oh, they're going to fluke the six, are they? Look at the six. Oh, it's home. Good news for the Netherlands. Yeah, she can lekker naar beneden. Kijk maar. Hierheen? Naar beneden. Ja, she can helemaal naar beneden, man. Kees, kom. screws a little extension to put the bigger one a lot of pool players in the modern era are playing with longer cues i don't think neil's does and i don't think the cole brothers but extension extension please vice the boss does have a smaller extension on the bottom of his cue plenty of side there again just slightly overran but it's not exactly an issue this Why? 
the Dutch picking up the thread of yesterday when they overcame the mighty German team. It wasn't a clean first rack, but it was a very efficient one from Team Holland. The safety shot in the midst of it was what made all the difference in the end. The jump shot yielded a, a fluke six, but not quite. And from there, you always suspected that the Dutch would do what they had to do. Niels Fine and so much. Mark Weisterbosch, a former European 10 ball champion. So far, well, they were easy winners against the overmatched Moroccans in the first round and then that big victory against Germany Torsten Homan and Joshua Filler in the last 16. Niels Feyen partnered Nick Vandenberg in 2013 and 2014 to be runners-up in consecutive years and of course Carl you were partially responsible the for their defeat Winning in Portsmouth one. eight years ago and a narrow defeat it was too Yeah, eight years ago. Where does time go? This is a good break, good cue ball control from Niels. If we're going to marry up to the nine somehow and set something up, it isn't. It was a good break. Same again, it's, it's a hook, but this is not going to be difficult to hit. Vice the boss couldn't really do much more. In fairness, sometimes you've just got to play the obvious safety. It's too dangerous to try something else. Could maybe try and jump and land on it and make something happen, but the one mail kick is easy. Oh my. False oh stroke. my, how's he missed that? No that contact. Incredible. Two forms of safety play in Q Sports. The the attacking safety and the containment safety that was the latter the dutch have gained so much more out of it than they could possibly have anticipated 15 seconds yeah for when kicking out of out of snookers sometimes you don't know where the balls are going to go but to miss that from coping yeah, well that was really poor indeed. This is just the start, Netherlands. I wouldn't say needed because obviously a very strong team. The man at the table buys the boss fair enough. He's not won that big elusive major in a match pool room arena, but I don't see why these boys can't snap this title off or really. Bosch is higher in the pool arc hierarchy than Christoph Reiches, who was one half of the winning pairing last year. I agree, I think the Dutch are well equipped to go all the way. And they're certainly motivated, particularly fine after those two narrow defeats back to back. Nine and eight years ago, respectively. They had chances to win both of those matches, couldn't get it done. Is this redemption?
another influence second. Everyone in the arena was shocked when Copin Yi failed to escape from that hook. The Dutch were pleasantly surprised. They lead 2 0. Here's another look. Just look at the cue ball that swerves just around the three in that slow mo. Still very early on in this match. No need to panic just yet. Chinese Taipei fans. Yes, so far the Co brothers, Coping Yi and Coping Chung, have defeated Argentina 7 2. That was pretty routine. It was not routine against Greece, if you recall. Poor old Alexander Kazakis jump potted the two to the center pocket. It was a tremendous jump. What happened? The cue ball scratched. The Greece team did not get another shot. Team Netherlands to break, leading the match 2 0. Cue ball's tracking towards the corner. Needs to slow down or catch a piece of that rail, and it has done. This is a messy table. But at least they are at the table, because for a moment, they may have thought the scratch was coming. Two ball, he's welded to the purple five. Niels can pop. This one ball in the corner. But the issue is, what do you do after that? Because he can only roll through with the cue ball. So maybe he'll play safe. Yeah, he's played safe. Trying to get the cue ball over towards the six and the eight. Needs to keep going. Needs to keep going. And it hasn't. So they've left the pot on the one, but the Cole brothers have the same issue. Netherlands just need to try and hit this one. And that is just purely because of the two ball and the six ball. They're awkward, so if you just get a hit here, going this way, the scratch is on, you could scratch in that right hand corner. Got to be careful here. Watch the scratch. Foul Sog. Bolland. Call your crystal ball this Please week has been particularly clear. Overused. What knowledge. Yeah, and this now allows the brothers to get that tricky positional area that they found. But this will be a little tight one in the side. These can be these can be scary. Copeland Chung though, very good potter of the ball. Well, he's playing the hook. Is he breaking them balls out? Oh, this is this is not this is a poor effort if I've ever seen one. Oh my! Cue ball should have been welded on the purple five. So 
Really much nerves here. Yeah, yeah, sure. Good. Well, considering the level they play at, that's one of the worst shots of the entire tournament. Yeah, what's worse is, I mean, he's, he's even left the pot. Neil can pot this ball. Oh, he's missed it by a way. Yeah, he's missed it by a way. These racks always end up to... Even though it's early on and it's only 2-0, when both teams have had a few opportunities, it turns into a, a big rack, doesn't it? Because whoever loses it will be kicking themselves. You may be having a go at this, you know, just because you can see the demeanour. He's like gearing up to play a big shot. Yeah, he's had a go. He's had a go. He doesn't want to slow down. He's going to the middle. He doesn't want to be on the rail. And he doesn't want to be straight. What an awkward rack this has been. The ball's conspiring against both teams, it seems. This is just all about the cue ball, this shot. He's trying to play a soft stun shot and just kill the cue ball onto the eight. Got to be mindful of the six. Oh, can he not see it? I don't think he can see it fully enough. No, he can't. So he can't play that shot. He's just going to get distance and get the six on the bottom rail. He left the pot. Yeah, good shot. Purely down to where the balls have run, Carl, but this has been one of the lengthier racks of the entire event. And you get the feeling it could be a really important one. Chinese Taipei need to get going. Yeah, 3-0 or 2-1 has got such a different feeling about it. Is he trying to pop the seven off the edge of the six? He is. And he's made it. Where's the six finished? He needs to bounce this. He needs to go over the side pocket. He needs to slow down. He's okay. He can pop this in the side. Beisterbosch was a, a little bit unlucky there to leave the carom. Another roll. It found itself on the rail. That was just a little bit of unfortunate. It is still quite a steep climb, but at least Chinese Taipei.
breast and over the sedicula. Blankety, fourth rack. Chinese Taipei to break, trailing by two racks to one. Our referee, Marcel Eckhart, announces the start of the fourth rack in a possible 17. Yes, it's now a race to nine in the quarterfinals and indeed the semi-finals of the World Cup of Pool. It's a race to 11 in the title match tomorrow evening. That's a nice break. And look at the kiss he has had. Maybe it's not ended up too bad. I mean, it's not great. But it could have been worse. It could have ended up right behind the nine. But what a powerful and controlled break that was. And you can never, you're never going to change the game of nine ball when a random ball hits it. It's just, it's just the sport. Funny, isn't it, Phil? You know, you rack nine balls up in a diamond, and every time you break, you always land in a different spot. The theory of chaos, and that was the theory of brilliant potting put into practice, and look at the position attached. Coping Chung had a terrible shot when he failed to lay a hook in the previous rack that was the polar opposite of terrible it was outstanding yeah the purple five combination on the seven it's quite nice, but it's all, it's all about this shot now. Where he gets the cue ball will make the shot a lot easier. I think this should be okay. Maybe a little bit more would have been ideal. Just because the combination's easy enough, but it's judging where the five and the cue ball is going to finish for the next shot. During the COVID-19 pandemic, when international traffic was Severely restricted. Chinese Taipei players from that pool hotbed were pretty much off the international scene. 
looking to make up for lost time here. Of course, Copen Yi already has one title in Europe under his belt in recent weeks in Bucharest, Romania. Also a semi-finalist in the, the World Masters this year. And he reached the last 16 of the World Nine Ball Championship. Only to be denied by the eventual winner, Shane Van Boning, who had the unusual benefit of back-to-back -back golden breaks in that match. Copin Yi. He's risen to the very top of this game. And now he's just knocked in the, the winning nine ball in rack four to put Chinese Taipei back on level terms with Netherlands. Yeah, that was a good rap, that. Was that an easy opening shot? And then yeah, to figure out the combination. Was that a road map? Road map is what we call... They finish where the balls land pretty much over every pocket, and even you could knock them in, Phil Yates. Thanks for those kind words, Carl. You know, Kopin Yi has achieved so much success over the years. It really was a surprise what happened to him at our most recent matchroom multi sports event, the UK Open at the Copper Box Arena in East London. 256 players there, and he was the first really big name to depart. That's because he suffered early defeats by Luke Garland and JJ Fall. There's always one player, I suppose, at those big events, Carl, that goes out shock early. And in that case, it was Copen Yi. Fine and Bice de Bosch. They didn't go into a, a spectacular run at the UK, but they were pretty solid there. In the previous match, Coping Chung was actually breaking from the other side, but I think they've identified that this side of the table has been a little bit kinder. Look at the power they're getting on the break. Really, really powerful break. Both players. Very keen to see whether the cue ball will squeeze past the green six and make the pot on the two possible. Yeah, of course, he's, he's got to jump this just because there's no push out available, is there? Because where would you push to? Purely and simple. The two balls over the pocket. Should pot this. It's where can you get the cue ball? The red three. Not bad, it's not great. But at least he's left his brother a pot. And I think he may be, be able to go forward with a cue ball. He's running a little close to that, so we'll see. Extension. Extension, please. to jack the cue in the air because of the nuisance pocket could overcut this no way right into the heart of the pocket so after that terrific pot to middle in the previous rack maybe Ko is getting his eye in okay position has been lost but what a cracking pot Yeah, they're warming up, aren't they, Phil? Early match nerves, but you felt it was always going to come good, and 
Not going to give it to Netherlands. Three continents remaining involved in this tournament. One team from North America. The USA, of course. Two teams from Asia, far from Europe. This looks tricky. Was banking it back up to where Niels's bridge hand is. You're not going to get the hook. Playing it this way. Well, he's not played this, surely. Surely he's not fluked it. That was just so hard to get the cue ball behind the five. The four ball was always going to go over to that rail, so... It's not one of Niels' best ever safety shots. If you make any contact with this, it's physically impossible to miss it. just on the bottom rail obviously but it's to the left side and the angle he's got it's going to be easier playing the nine across to the bottom right oh the, the reason why he's done that is because he didn't want to play it with the bottom left pocket and he would have known if he doesn't get close to that pocket his baby brother would have had a trickier nine. Good shot. Chinese Taipei wins the run. Turn around here. The Dutch were looking good at 2-0. Now, though, Chinese Taipei hit the front at 3-2. Over the years, Koping Yi has been in the limelight. In 2015, he won the World 10 Ball Championship, the World 9 Ball Championship, and the World Cup of Pool, together with Chang Yulung. And Billiard's largest player of the year back then, seven years ago. But Koping Chung's had his share of success as well. He's a former World 10 Ball Champion, US Open 8 Ball Champion. Thank you, in 2019. break, leading by Freddie Rex.
Yeah, the year Ko Ping Yi won this event with Chang Long. He actually beat me and Darren. I think it was in the quarters. So Ko Ping Yi knows how to win this, but he would love to win this event with his brother. That would be a surely an amazing feeling. Well, we talk about SVB crunching the pack. These two boys are not holding back at all. That, for me, is the way pool should be played. Break as hard as you can and see what table layout you get. Well, I just curse one final footnote on Chinese Taipei's history in this tournament. Yes, they won in 2015. But we mustn't forget that on six occasions between 2010 and 2018, they made the semi finals. And that's not including the year they won. So, seven times a semi finalist in this tournament's history. Are well, they going to make it eight with victory here today? Good scratch, Davide. Oh, just caught a point. Must apologise if you heard any bad language there. It wasn't the players. It certainly wasn't us. I think it was emanating from the audience. Yeah, I have to say, Phil, I think, you know, gr growing the game of nine ball, especially in the UK, where you've obviously got snooker and even red and yellow pool. I think the crowd all week, considering the weather outside, has been amazing. I think it's been tremendous. It really has. Needs the pink four to re up. They've stuck it up. The kick's gone wrong. Yes, Colin, I'm with you about the crowd. And today, they've turned out in numbers. Yeah, it'll be a packed house tonight. Great Britain, they're still in. Imran and Melin. Can they do the unthinkable? And win this year's event. Big match against Spain tonight. Can't wait for that one. on the eight could have been more destructive than that at least the pot is still there a little more difficult but it's on nevertheless has pulled out some good shots in the last couple of racks and that was a beauty and look straight in the middle of the pocket these are a four inch pocket by the way you're still going to see balls sliding in nine balls about but four inch pockets on a nine ball pool table is a lot smaller than the past The Dutch part of the first 20 balls of this match have not knocked in another.
Nicely done. Big bro co slots the nine home. Thank you to your seventh rack. Chinese Taipei is leading the match by four racks to two, and they will break. Two competing agendas here. Chinese Taipei trying to retain control, pull away. The Dutch trying to regain early momentum. <laughs> Carl, that works. Yeah, they've, they've broke really good. Look there, you see the cue ball just hopping back and stopping around the center and the ball just kicked it up there. It's another good break. A little thin one on the three. And if you can get the cue ball back to that little spot where it is now, they're going to have a shot on the four. Six ball. I'd like to take another look at that in a minute because that looks like it's if it's touching the rail. That is going to be awkward.
extension. Extension called. He scratched. False truck. Didn't get into the cue ball enough. First mistake from Chinese Tad Day. Everyone to jump out of the chair, ball in hand. Most recent rack win also came as a result of a, an unexpected mistake. And Kevin Yi failed to escape the hook in rack two. This time it's the, the scratch that brings the Netherlands back to the table. That six ball ended a lengthy dry spell, extending back to their break off in rack three. If you scratch at this game, certainly at this, the highest level, you can expect to lose racks. That's what Chinese Taipei did there, and the Netherlands now within one at 4-3. So called this was the did the men. Yeah, it wasn't easy. That six balls in such an awkward spot. He had to land it on the rail. Where kind of mark put the, the cue ball with ball in hand. Just thinking about Neil's fine, you know, who dispatched the the nine ball there. If he were to be part of a winning team in this event, it might well complete the full set for him. He's been world nine champion, world straight pool champion, world masters champion. He's won the Derby City Classic. And he's been MVP at the Moscone Cup. Now, this is how the, the draw lays out. Chinese Taipei or the Netherlands, they're in the top half of the draw. Or play the Great Britain or Spain. In the bottom half of the draw, it's... Finland against Singapore for the right to meet Switzerland or the highest seed still batting the USA. The eighth break. Then lends to break, trailing 4 3. Well, he's got a shot of this. Thin one into the top right. It's holding position for the blue too, though. You would have to play that one very slow indeed. That's some kind of thing. This here. Yeah, so. The 2 and 6. Good play save, could just roll the one onto the right side rail. Sort of towards that three ball. And just leave the cue ball on the top rail. They want to attack the table though. They want to attack this game. But he just felt it wasn't the time. Well, if he's left the pot in the there. Well, the crowd's clapping, and a few of them are sat right behind the, the line of the shot, so that tells us he's got the hook, but he wanted that one on the rail. Oh, we just got it. Maybe they can swerve it a bit. Extension. Extension, please.
It was a bad safety shot. They need the four ball out of the way. Can he pot it? Look how close that was to the blue too then. You know what they call cardinal error to leave the edge. Is to bounce or slow down? You have to play across bank into the side pocket. Sensible shot, a safety shot. Kicks it hard into the side pocket. Keeps him at the table. Yeah. Yeah. He's always been a, a spellbinding shot maker, Neil's fire. Well, Mark needs better one than his previous safety shot. This is tougher. Yeah, I don't blame him for that. Just roll in the four. Onto that left rail. Five's on the bottom rail, so it's always going to be difficult if Chinese Taipei could play a bank and get position. Five. This match is just boiling up nicely. four on the rail. I don't think Niels can cut this in. Extension. If he can, it's really thin. Mm. Extension. Extension, please. Well, maybe he can, looking at the Thanks overhead so. camera. <laughs> if there's one part of Niels' game what slightly just fell behind a little bit from the rest of it, you would probably say it's these long, thin snips. Stroke. Ball in hand. You were moving in the player's island there, please. Alex, sir, I was talking to you. You were moving in the player's island, please. Now, I don't know whether this was influential Stop. in this shot, but Marcel Eckhart has told a member of the crowd off for moving in the, the line of the shot. It really is off putting movement. I think more off putting than noise in many respects. Yeah, I mean, Nils has played in Moscone Cup, so a bit of crowd movement. This isn't snooker where you've got to sit like robots. This is pool. Play this game in bars and clubs. Bit of noise, bit of movement. Who cares, Phil? Who cares? Years ago, I was commentating with Steve Davis on a snooker match, and I said, yeah. I always find that movement is more off-putting than noise, in my experience. And he went... What experience is that? What can you say to a six times world champion? I was mortified. <laughs> Not very often in this game you see someone go for a pot and miss the said ball. Completely. 
Of course, that meant ball in hand for Chinese Taipei, and they were always going to clean up from there. So their two rack cushion is re established at 5 3. It's been a real mixture, this, Carl. We've seen lots and lots of good shots. Also, lots of unexpected errors. Of all varieties. This was... as they were 10 years ago. Isn't it great to see youngsters here enjoying the action? Thank you, Liam. Ninth rack. Chinese Taipei is leading by five racks to three and the will break. There's another lad in the audience. I well recall my first ever experience of a big Q sports tournament. Went to one session of the 1972 World Championship. <laughs> Alex Higgins beat John Spencer, and I was hooked. Dry break. Yeah, the seven skidded along and somehow stayed over the pocket, and that's probably the ball that Netherlands are going to try and do something with. They can play. Oh, can they see the right hand side of the one? Maybe they're getting a little excited. Look at that. Five dry breaks. Yeah from Chinese Taipei in this tournament. In one match, Koping Chung had two dry breaks himself, and it was only the very last revolution of a pink four ball going into the middle pocket that prevented him having three dry breaks in the same contest. Extension, change. Extension called. Shot from Niels. It's a nice view, isn't it, Phil? Not seen that camera angle before. Extension called. Just a little bit of repetition here for the new viewers. It's a 30 second shot clock with a 30 second extension. One allowed per team per rack. Chinese Taipei took theirs there. But to no avail. The two is on. Yeah, it was close. You can Catch see the two here. just catching that jaw. Niels can't avoid the cue ball brushing in six. Does he have to draw off the six? Oh, he could just get into it enough. Cube ball needs to keep rolling though. The hooked. Can't see this three. He's gonna have to kick off the back rail. Kick up to save. Yeah. Very safe now.
Going off the side, just above the four. He's trying to pop the seven. The brown seven's over the corner. Yeah. And he has done. Good shot. Wait for that one to stop spinning. <laughs> Fighting hard in this rack. 5-3 down, what a huge rack it is. Is he playing or is he going to duck for cover? He's played the duck, cue ball up towards the nine. This looks good. He's got the eight. There's a blocker as well. Even if they've left the edge, this is a horrible shot. Oh, you can see it full, I think. Oh, he's playing off the edge. When you're playing that shot, you always hit the three too thick. Got a jack up, he's got to try and kill the cue ball. This is tough. Oh, beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. The Dutch, not for the first time, holding back of the tide. Chinese Taipei, only one in front now at 5 4. Holland are being stubborn. Would you rather sit up there? Sound up, yes, one, two, oh. <laughs> so we've reached the halfway point, ladies and gents. Let's get a round of applause for both teams. We always like the tight contest. We always like that. Right, hands up. Who's coming tomorrow for the finals? Hands up. That's okay. There's a few of you, but there's a few of you that aren't coming. But your chance to come is now. I've got two tickets for all day tomorrow. And you've got to take part in my competition. We've got to be quick, because sky breaks are like two minutes long. So, who wants to win some tickets for tomorrow's match? Oh, okay, let me go. Let me see if there's somebody right here. You know what? I'm going to go, you, sir, there with the glasses. Yes, you can. Make your way down those steps for me, please, really quickly. Let's give him a round of applause. Right, best of three questions, and we've got to be quick. I need to get my steps in here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't fall over, don't fall over. What's your name, sir? Michael. Where are you from, Michael? Cambridge. Cambridge in the house. Anybody from Cambridge? Yeah, very, very calm in Cambridge. That's right. So, Mike, three questions, best of three. You get them right, you go through, all right? So, up first, very quick questions here. Who are the reigning champs of the World Cup of Pool? USA. 
The USA is the incorrect answer, as you can hear from the groan from the crowd. Right, question two. You need these two questions here. The European Pool Open competition has been announced night to the 14th of August. Where is it? Where's it going to be? Is it Germany? It is Germany. Round of applause for Michael. Right. This is it. Bonus question. You make this. You're good to go with these tickets for tomorrow. Where is the birthplace of Niels the Terminator Fine? Not the country, because we know where he's from, right? Where in the Netherlands is Niels from? Here we go. Oh, we're going to run out of time here. Come on. The Hague. The Hague, helped out by his friend on his left shoulder here, is the correct answer. <laughs> Round of applause for Michael. You've won yourself some tickets. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. There'll be more tickets being handed out throughout today's session, the evening session. I've got some signed pool balls as well. But let's get back to the, uh, let's get back to the pool, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. The future of nine ball is so bright, this lad has to wear shades. <laughs> He's been watching all of the action so far. Thank you, it's rack number 10. I think I've seen him at an event prior to this, maybe. Trailing five a pool fan, not for the first time coming to a, a big tournament. It really is a great atmosphere out there, especially when the team element is brought into play. Yeah. Two balls close to this one. Three balls a little bit messed up near the brown seven. Yeah, so they can pop the one okay. Got to just hold position for the two, which he has, and then maybe they're going to be playing the bank shot on the red three, so maybe it wasn't as messy as we first thought, but it's all about this shot for Mark. He's got to get really good on this bank shot for Niels. Big shot coming up, big positional shot. Six. Yeah, that's okay. Niels can work with this. And he's just trying to make sure when the cue ball runs into that seven, Extension. the seven Extension, does please. get a little sticky with that pink four. That one nice. It's always going to be about that three ball. And now, what a chance to tie this match up. It's gone back and forth this match. Netherlands raced into a 2 0 lead. Scores look likely to be tied for the first time since 2 2. If Niels yeah, he can. I'm just going to say, if Niels can sort of punch this in and 
come off two rails back to, to where he stood he will though, but he's aiming high on the cue ball, so he's going forward. This is all about speed control. Wants to leave his partner good on main. Surely not. Ooh, he's a little close. And there's just a, a grain of doubt on this one. Because of the close proximity of the, the middle pocket to his bridge hand. No issue, no problem, no sweat. Mark Bosterbosch and Neil Spine get the scores level once more at 5 5. During the opening round in the first couple of sessions, we saw a lot of one sided matches as the giants of nine ball pool took on the minnows now though they're all top teams and that's why the action is so so competitive and that was the the shot really that opened up the rack the bank on the three availing position on the four it's now a race to four Getting to the end of this match, and this is where the nerves start to creep in a little more. A mistake from now on in could prove very costly indeed. Carl, you had a great career. Most nervous you ever felt? I think the most nervous pressure I've ever felt would the very first Moscone Cup, where you walk in to play break. team point. They carry Scores five breaks each because there's two players, you're not really used to that big, loud, cheering atmosphere, and it kind of just hit me like a ton of bricks. just like this break. That was a ton of bricks. All players are both very good in this match. Look at this. I can't imagine you'd be concerned about the Moscow and Cup atmosphere. He's such a shy, retiring, quiet kind of fellow, shrinking violet. Not. Well, I'm not saying I let it affect me. Yeah, I enjoyed it, but the legs and the back arm felt a, a bit weird. He's aiming low on the cue ball. He's going to come off the second rail. Cue ball can get lost on you. This needs to slow down. And it has got lost on him. He was playing for the pink four in the bottom left. Yeah. Niels can pop this past the nine ball into that bottom right. Extension, extension call. But he's got to really get into the cue ball. He's got to get that cue ball slowing down straight away to hold for the six in the top left. It's all about feel this shot. Come on, oh, that's good enough. That is good enough. As soon as it caught the rail halfway up, you knew. You just knew it wasn't in. How big is that miss going to be for the Netherlands? Sometimes it's a little harsh, this, but there's always one shot you tend to zone in on as a potential turning point. The, the Homan missed eight ball, particularly. Yeah. The Netherlands overcame Germany springs to mind. There's always one you you can't help but think about it. Maybe Extension. that this six ball will be it when these two teams are shaking hands.
one point it looked as though he was going to have extremely awkward queuing over the eight ball, but I think the white has travelled an extra centimetre to mitigate it slightly. It's still not ideal. Yeah, he doesn't want to get too adventurous here. Just pop the seven. Six, 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 six. Six, six, six. And they know that these four balls to steal the rack it hurts your opponent. It hurts a lot. And we know they'll be very keen in that to win a break format. It's been good stuff, this. No doubt, but we've seen an awful lot of racks won when teams jump in as the result of an unexpected error from the other. That was a prime example. Mark Bosch missed the six ball down the rail, and Chinese Taipei, because of that, are able to regain the lead at 6-5. This is the six ball in question. a few times in this year's event when a player misses that crucial ball and all the balls are sat there the team steals the rack and they can run together so let's see what happens on this break Marcel like I'm still working away to make sure the break is as good as it can or the balls are as good as it, they can be in the in the break off position next up by the way it is Singapore against Yes. 12th rank, Chinese Taipei to break, leading 6-5. Where's the two ball going to finish? Well, it's fell in. And you do have a shot on this three. Coping Yi needs to cue. A nice ball here. He's played some big shots and some big pots so far, so he's definitely the man for the job. And how much punishment is Mark Bysterbosch going to get from missing that six ball? It was a six ball he should pot, and he knows it. Well, this is not easy. You can see he's striking down. Oh, what a shot. Coping here has potted some big, long balls in this in this quarter-final, he really has. I've said it a few times, I'm going to say it again, Phil. I don't care. I don't mind sharing this with the new viewers. We speak about winner breaks and alternate breaks. And some people think winner breaks can be quite a harsh format, but for me, it's just the only way you should play the game, because can you imagine if it was Netherlands break there, and after missing the six, they may have had a golden break and the pressure and the nerves, it's just all forgot about, you know, so much. I've played plenty of pool matches, alternate break, and I just feel the amount of times somebody misses a ball and then it seems to be their break next and they break and run and they feel good again. It, 
happens so much and we're seeing now that six ball that he's missed he's getting severely punished and right I just think that in any sport if you've got a format that rewards excellence it should be employed and the likes format you can get these great players on a roll and it's a, a sight to behold si, si, si. Yeah, and you don't see many matches in winter breaks where you don't get a shot do you i mean i've never seen it in a matchroom pool event somebody winning the lag and running the set you've been around longer than me phil have, have you ever seen that no nope. but i think it would be a great story if it happened this could be a great story. Two brothers could win the World Cup for Chinese Taipei. A distance to go yet before that comes to fruition. But they're getting ever closer to the semi-finals. They lead 7-5. And since Mark Bajdebosch missed the sixth ball down the lung rail in the 11th rack, the Dutch have been confined to their chairs. Fifteen thousand each for the runners up. You know, Cole, while Martin Lacan is putting the finishing touches to this rack, we've talked a lot about the Moscone Cup, the great USA Europe battle. What about if Asia were brought into the equation? Asia were to have a team against either the USA or Europe. What a formidable force they would be. Yeah, there's some strong players from all oh, them parts of the world. Get yourself a jelly baby. Why not? Super Saturday quarterfinal action. I could eat 13th, right? Yeah, go ahead, jelly Saturday baby, before they melt. Seven, five, down they go, right? So can the Coes get to the hill? Just look at the cue ball again, Phil. Hitting that break that hard and trying to stop the cue ball dead straight away. He's a real skill. It's like going down an ice rink, doing a, a triple salco, and then stopping dead. Not sure. See. Yeah, and landing on this side of the, the three ball has really, really helped the boys in this rack because if they landed short on the other side, that eight ball may have come into play. Good angle required on this five. Yeah, that's okay. Now they can slide across the table. They can land, they can even land straight on this six. It doesn't matter in this instance. Yeah, you may think this is harsh after Mark's missed six ball, but it's a six ball he should pot. And this is what 
This is what makes nine ball pool so good. You think it's easy, but when you're out there, these players know one little mistake can cost you a ton of racks, and this is why it's such a, a pressure-filled sport. Talk about capitalising as well. I try, I try, I try. Chinese Taipei are about to get themselves on the hill. Chinese Taipei. They are there. The Netherlands isn't a country. Back to the 14th rack. Chinese Taipei is breaking on the hill, leaving by eight rocks. The question everyone is mulling over. 
will the last memory of the Dutch in this tournament be that negative memory a six ball going astray they've not had a shot since Chinese Taipei want to break and run out for the third consecutive rack here and wrap this up oh the cue ball control again was delightful it got kissed but the consistency time and time again by sending a 350 yard drive down the middle of them. That's a concept with which I've got no idea. Okay, 160 then, Phil. 190. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a, a bartering, an auction process. Higher, lower. This is re-ball. This is nasty because it doesn't go in either of the corners on the left side of the table. Is he playing for the centre? No, oh, he's playing for the combo. He's playing for the combo. He's trying to pot the eight. There's a bit of distance in between the cue ball and the three. That makes this shot that little bit more tasty. Extension, please. The extension was taken. They identified that as the big shot. But the three eight combination was misjudged. Well, Team Netherlands have been spectators since that miss six. This is the chance to make something happen. And you always feel in a race to nine, if it is eight six, that is nothing. That you know, to come back from eight six can literally just mean one good safety shot for the Netherlands, a couple of break and runs, a good safety, and you, you've won your match. Oh, he doesn't fancy the combo, does he? Now he's having a look. Yeah. Um. Is he going straight into the eight? Sometimes players like to go rail first. Niels is going straight into the eight. He's made it. Good shot. Great shot. Even Coping Yi liked that one. He was tapping his knee. You can see the determination on the Terminator's face. Ball. Average point success for the tournament is 92.5. So both teams are above that, even though they've not been flawless. And now the six ball. I can't imagine Bysterbosch is going to miss this one. No, I mean, the angle he's got, no, he can just play this soft. He doesn't have to play this with any power. That makes the pocket double the size. They see into the rail. That's fine at that pace. If he would have hit that ball hard, that would wobble and stay over the pocket. That's why we talk about the angles all the time. Well, the Netherlands, after this nine, they're still in this match. Oh, yeah. They're still there. Both delighted, Bosch de Bosch in particular, to be given the opportunity to make amends for that missed six ball in the 11th rack. OK, they're two down with a possible three to play, but this is easily retrievable, Carl. Yes, it is indeed. 8-6. It's a nice...
game of nine ball. I said it before, the Bosch to Bosch break is ended around the world of pool. It is a really fine one. Needs something special here. Thank you, D15, Freck. Netherlands to break. Trailing 8 6. Well, that kiss right at the end looks like it's actually helped them. As long as they've got an angle, as long as Niels has got an angle, they can put it in the side, win the cue ball through off one rail. Be a little bit tricky playing him into the side pockets on the pool table. That's got to be a bit careful with the cue ball here as well. He wants to try and come above the left center. So he'll play this with draw and left spin. Come over to the other side of the table above that middle pocket. Oh, he's hit that nice. He has hit that nice at this stage of the match. Maybe too nice because how do you get on the five? He needed an angle. He needed that little bounce off the rail. I'm not sure what Niels has got available here. The camera will tell us in a second. Extension. Extension, please. Mm, this is... This is horrible. If he draws the cue ball straight back, oh, this is horrible. This is this is nasty. This he's trying to play a delayed drawback. Oh, stop it! Stop it! Shot of the match. When it comes to the spectacular, Niels Fine produces on a regular basis. Yeah, it's a funny shot when you have to play that because people think you're just drawing the cue ball back, but if you just play a natural draw, you could scratch or hit the five. The cue ball almost stops for a second and then draws back. That changes the angle a little. They're still very much in this quarter final. It's 8 7. They fought hard against Germany, the defending champions in the previous round. They were 3 1 down. Came back to win handily in the end. But being down early is very different from being on the brink of defeat. And the Dutch were 8 5, remember? Chinese Taipei in. In the 14th rack, the 3 8 combination from Ko Ping Chung narrowly failed to find the targets, and ever since, the Dutch have been going about their business. Try and get to Hill Hill, our first quarter-final. 
could possibly, probably, go all the way. He's been there and done it so many times on the biggest stage. Not so vice to Bosch, but he's a more than capable player. Rack 16, Netherlands to break, trailing 8-7. Again, the cue ball, they've got a shot on the one, Look. they have a shot on the one, and the balls, there's no clusters. When Ko Ping Chung Missed that three, a combination. It seemed almost innocuous. Matches. Not now. Ik vertrouw de tafel niet om dit te doen. Dus ik vind het denk ik lekkerder als die hier ligt. En dan trek ik hem in hier zo. Oké. Okay. Dus, uh... Zie je dit? Ja, ja, ja. Niels is just going to chip this four ball in and slide down this left side of the table to play for the five in the same pocket. It's all about speed. Extension. Extension, please. Whenever you're coming off one rail, if he, if he could swing it round the table, he may choose that just because the line of the cue ball coming into the five would be better, but... I don't think that's on, so this is all about speed, feel, touch. At this stage of the match, these tables are super quick. Yeah, he's got to be happy with that. He's got to be happy with that. Now, this is the shot for Bice de Bosch. Okay, yeah. This is the pocket he missed, the 6 2. In rack 11. Yeah, I don't know if he can kill the cue ball and hold it for the gap, or will he go over and use the second rail? Yeah, that's well done. Nicely done. Exactly the same amount of balls potted. It's been that kind of contest. Just when you yes. think one team is going to take command, the other simply refuses to surrender. And just look how straight he is on this eight. It's the little kill shot. And we're going hill, hill. What a way to open up quarterfinals day. Simply sensational from the Dutch. They were three down with four to play. They've won the next three, and it's all on one final. Vital. 17th rack. Nothing like Hill Hill call to get the, the juices flowing. Yeah, this is why the fans come in to watch. We do love Hill Hill drama.
And by the way, either GB or Spain will play in the semi finals the winner of the final this rack. Team Netherlands will break. What a match this has been, but it's now time for a one rack shootout. Bosch to break. What have we got here? They can play in the top left. But there's a big angle. If he can pop this and kind of come two rails below that brown seven. Yeah, he's kind of signaling with his cue, so that's on. He's got to take this on. I think the two goals past the nine. Two, nine, If Niels can get that cue ball to miss that seven off that right hand side yeah, rail the and then off the top, he's got to play this shot. It's not easy. Just the pot alone is not easy. Extension. Extension called. Yeah, I think two clearly goes. No ifs, buts, or maybes. It's a gamble sometimes, especially in a deciding rack, to take your extension so early. But the Dutch need to contemplate and to settle down. Didn't play it. Where's the one going to end up? Where's it going to end up? Only Niels will know if that shot was on. But if you don't fancy it, you don't play it. It's as simple as that. It's always nice in the, in the last rack when both teams or players get a shot at the table. The break and run is often quite cruel at the Hill Hill. So it's nice to see Chinese Taipei get a visit. Underlining the heightened tension the Dutch have already taken their extension with the one ball still on the table, and now it's the turn of Chinese Taipei. So no more time latitude. I'll tell you what, the two onto the nine off that rail in the bottom left corner is not a million miles off. It really isn't. Is that what he's having a go at? I don't think he is. I think he's going to get a good cue ball. Yeah, you could see where it come over. He didn't get a good cue ball. Could have been worse. He's hit it all wrong. He has hit it all wrong. And I think the one ball goes through the gap between the seven and eight. And if it does, well, it does. Big moment, big shot. Oh, and he's missed it. It's been the older brother who's been faced with them type of shots. The younger brother has missed it at Hill Hill. <laughs> Brotherly love overcomes any kind of disappointment. The elbow broke down there. The, the technique malfunctioned. It's not over yet, folks. Niels was trying to bump the two or the five. So coping Chung after that miss. They're still in this match. What a way to finish this match, Phil. Terrific. 
very little to choose between them in terms of standard in this contest as well, not just the scoreline. He's going to run the cue ball up towards the seven. Well, he went for a cheeky bank. That was cheeky. I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about that at all. One could have chipped off the edge of the two and put the two more where he wanted. And if you look where it's finished, it looks like there's a combination. I mean, they're not guaranteed to get back on the two. If the cue ball is going to be flying up and down the table at pace. There you see, this is set. But it's older brother's turn to make a mistake. Everybody's had a shot now in this decider. Niels has got a simple hook, cue ball behind the five. Now this is an easy hit. There's a chance of potting this two in one of the centre pockets. But he needs to hit the bottom side of this two. That would get separation on the balls. That's all you want. All you want, separation. If you leave it, you leave it. Now then. On a pot to this pocket. Ko Ping Chung has already wilted. What a bad buy, to Bosch. This is the biggest shot of your career to date. One, two ball. It's there. How's the cue ball looking? He had a bit too much angle. Wasn't going to be easy to hold. Oh, this is building up nicely, Phil. It really is. Well, we've just heard from Marcel Ekman that the, the three ball is frozen. Yeah, so the cue ball needs to hit a rail. All the three needs to hit another rail. Neil's playing safe again. Using all his experience in the world. Forgetting about the three ball to a degree. Making sure he gets that cue ball tight on the rail. Takes a deep breath. Is he playing the pot? Is he playing safe? He's playing the cue ball behind the eight. And what a shot he's played there. Two railer in behind the eight. Beautiful safety shot from Big Broco. That, that could be telling. this simple just make sure you hit the three forget forget about where it's going to end up and trying to play it smart just hit the three if you hit the three the pool gods may favor you and he's missed the three so now they get ball in hand they can put the cue ball wherever they want it wasn't an easy hit I don't mean it like that but you've just got to try and hit the three please stop it Contact was imperative and it wasn't achieved. Just thinking back to the Dutch heartache in the final eight years ago, then they were beaten in a deciding rack. More heartache in the pipeline. Yeah, they're going to be feeling it though. They are going to be feeling it. This is still not over. You've still got to knock the balls in. And the reason why I say that is these tables, honestly, they are so quick. So you just slightly come out of line. It's very easy for that cue ball to get lost out there. In the previous match, Chinese Taipei won the Hill Hill rack against Greece. And that final rack had drama. So they're no stranger to it. Yeah, that is perfect. 
that is perfect because now he can go off the first rail over to where he stood off the second rail and then the cue ball will just travel over there for the nine this is the shot that will put you into the semi-final wants to keep rolling good enough this should be over Taipei have double dipped into the bank of brinkmanship. First it was Greece by the odd rack in 13. Now it's the Dutch by the odd rack in 17. 9-8, the scoreline in the end. Drama in abundance. The co-brothers take Chinese Taipei into the semi-finals of the World Cup of Pool for the eighth time in their country's history. 